Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. I'm so happy to be here with you guys today because I'm going to be showing you guys a sneak peek of the new Warship Season 5 inside of Boom Beach. This was recorded on a Boom Beach development build, which means it was given to me by Supercell to record a video on it. It's not part of the game. Stuff might change between this and when Warship Season 5 drops tonight. I'm so hyped. Anyway, we're going to be talking about everything that's happening. I'm going to be showing you guys some gameplay of the new upcoming flying troops and i'm going to be talking about the star changes now warship season 5 is getting a complete overhaul the biggest changes is one we're getting flying troops and two we're getting stars like a, a new star system so we already had stars so star system under my name commander i have zero out of 40 stars so all of these different leagues we had before it's going to range from zero to 40 stars each of them I'm pretty sure this is how it's going to work. Of course, stuff might change. So when you win a battle, you're going to get zero to around 10 stars. But you'll lose around one to 10 stars, depending on the opponent you're facing. So if you face a really tough opponent, an opponent higher than you in trophies, in medals, then if you beat them, you get more stars because you beat what the game thinks a harder player and if you lose against them you won't lose as many stars and the same goes if you're that player and you match up with a weaker person you'll get less stars if you win and you'll lose more if you lose so all of that being said a lot of changes to the star system of course i mean we're getting it really soon you'll figure it out fast you're, when you win a battle you're gonna not get one star anymore you're gonna get a range of stars a possible star when you start out you're not going to be losing any stars you'll get 10 stars 12 stars 15 stars if you win and then as you get further down the road you'll start losing more stars and winning less stars so that's one of the main changes of the new trophy road but the other change is this they're locking out warships sections so maxed out players can't rush the beaches <laughs> they can't rush these maxed out sections it forces people to to keep playing um which i think is a really good idea and i don't know how long the season is i think it's i mean it says 22 days on here but i don't know when i mean the dev build times could be off but i would say it's a shorter season like the last season anyway each of these new sections unlocks uh the first one it takes five days for it to unlock it seems like and of course the times might be off the important thing is is you get a whole new section every day and this is a whole new section for everyone in warships if you're at that point so it just forces maxed out players to keep playing throughout all of warships and not max up to the top and then just sit at legendary 10 waiting for the new season to start so it is fun i can't wait i, I think it's going to be a good addition but now for the part you guys are waiting for you guys want to see first of all this is the tech tree it's really hype we're getting bombardiers really close on or really early on you guys want to see this some maxed out gameplay of the rocket chopper Okay, so the Rocket Chopper is a flying unit. It takes up one landing craft each. It has about 2,000 HP, about 1,500 damage per second, which is a decent amount. And then when it gets destroyed, it drops two Zookas. And that's at a maxed out level. And then the other flying troop is the Heavy Chopper. It does very little damage. It takes it's 27,000 health, which is a lot of HP. I don't think it's not quite a scorcher HP, but it's getting up there. So this is the big thing, heavy. It spawns heavies every five seconds. It spawns one heavy, a maximum of 10 heavies. It's not like a critter or not like Everspark where if one dies, she'll spawn another. It spawns a maximum of 10, no matter if it's dead or alive at that point. So let's show some gameplay of this. The first a match I have is of me attacking Jimmy's base using all rocket choppers and you'll see the wrong way to use these guys so we'll put on times one one of them died at drop two zookas the wrong way to use these troops is not having a tanking unit out in front of your rocket choppers now we do get private bullet really early on this season and I think maxing him out would be a good idea because i don't really know whenever not whenever but when dr kavan gets unlocked let's look after this battle and see when he does get unlocked but 
yeah, if you don't have a tanking unit in front of your rocket choppers, it's not going to be good for you. You want your Zookas to stay alive. It deals even more damage. So just bring a tanking unit. Okay, Dr. Kavan seems like a... Oh, maybe a week into warships, you unlock him. So I think maxing out bullet would definitely be a good idea. So I want to show you Jimmy's attack now because Jimmy did a really good job of taking on my base using the rocket choppers. And I have this on times four just because it's the same kind of gameplay as before, but you want a tanking unit out in front. Now granted my base is easy to destroy, but bullet was able to tank up a ton of damage from the buildings so your troops didn't get hit so the rocket choppers don't get hit by the way if you tap on a building not that building if you tap on a building you'll see that little icon above that means it can attack air troops and the only defenses like regular defenses not prototypes that can attack air troops is the mortar the shock launcher and the flamethrower all of the other defenses the regular defenses can hit them Okay, so now I want to show you, and I'm starting to lose my voice, so I apologize. I want to show you the heavy choppers. Now, these guys are way more overpowered than the rocket choppers. I'm going to talk a little bit less now because my voice is starting to die. They move really fast, and you wouldn't expect them to because of the fact that they're a heavy unit. You would assume they would be slower, but... The most important thing is the heavies stand a little bit in front of your rocket chopper, not rocket, of your heavy choppers. And that just blows my mind. I don't think I showed you the stats. No, I did. Okay. But it, yeah, 10 maximum heavies. So if, if you have eight of these, you'll spawn a maximum of 80 heavies. And then on top of that, if one dies, you spawn eight more. It's absolutely insane. It's crazy. It's so overpowered. I think taking one or two of those plus bombardiers is going to be a way better meta than bringing riflemen and bombardiers because you're not going to have Kavan to heal them up or to revive them. Okay. And the final battle I want to show you is my second battle i'm trying to think of the order of battles i wanted to show you guys this stuff in so this battle i decided well what if you combined the two would it be a good meta what i found was no um it's just they're so very different the rocket choppers aren't very good but of course you know me i'm gonna max them out i want to show you guys some gameplay of them I want to show them off in a video. I want to have some fun with them. <laughs> it's a new flying troop. I want to play with them, guys. But besides that, I don't really think you guys should max them out. I don't think it'll become a meta. And if it does become a meta, we'll let you guys know right here on our channel if everyone's using them and it seems to be working. But that's it for this flying troop combination. Like, there's not much more about the flying troops I can show you, but it's really cool. It's really cool the way they look, the way they work, the way they move, and I can't wait for you guys to try them because they are a lot of fun. Guys, Warships Unlocks at HQ10, it's coming out very soon for you guys. I think later today. So get hyped, get ready, let's have some fun. See you guys.